Hello and welcome to D&D Daily. My name is Sage and today I'm going to be doing a viewer requested blind stat block reading. This blind stat block comes from the Tome of Beasts 2 and is called the Tricenatorus. A bipedal dinosaur with massive horns on its face, back, and tail roars, revealing an enormous mouth filled with rows of razor teeth. Tricenatoruses are the rage-filled result of a transmutation experiment gone wrong. They are unnatural mistakes. A transmutation wizard attempted to magically bring together two dinosaurs to create the ultimate guardian, one with the power of the Tyrannosaurus and the docile nature of the Triceratops. Instead, the wizard created an unnatural spiked monster with a hunger for flesh and an unmatched rage. They are always angry. From the moment they hatch, Tricenatoruses are angry. Their rage makes them reckless and difficult to harm. Most of these monstrous dinosaurs stay deep within the jungle, but Tricenatoruses are relentless when they find prey, leading them to sometimes chase explorers into civilized settlements. The Tricenatorus is a huge monstrosity that is unaligned, has an armor class of 15 and 184 hit points, with a movement speed of 50 feet. They have plus 8 to strength, plus 0 to dex, plus 5 to con, minus 4 to intelligence, plus 1 to wisdom, and minus 1 to charisma. They have proficiency in constitution and wisdom saving throws as well as the perception skill. They have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. They have a passive perception of 15 and they are a challenge rating 13. Their first ability is Blood Frenzy. The Tricenatorus has advantage on melee attack rolls against any creature that doesn't have all of its HP. Relentless recharges after a short or long rest. If the Tricenatorus takes 40 damage or less that would reduce it to 0 HP, it is reduced to 1 HP instead. They are a siege monster. The Tricenatorus deals double damage to objects and structures. Tail Spike Regrowth. The Tricenatorus has 24 tail spikes. Used spikes regrow when the Tricenatorus finishes a long rest. Moving into actions, we have a multi-attack. The Tricenatorus makes two attacks, one with its bite and one with its gore, or two with its tail spikes. It can't use its gore against a creature restrained by its bite. Bite is a melee weapon attack with plus 12 to hit, a reach of 5 feet, hits one target and on hit does a massive 34 piercing damage. If the target is a medium or smaller creature, it is grappled, escape DC 18. Until this grapple ends, the target is restrained and the Tricenatorus can't bite another target. Gore is a melee weapon attack with plus 12 to hit, a reach of 10 feet, and it hits one target. On hit, it does an average of 26 piercing damage and the target must succeed on a DC 18 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. And Tail Spike, which is a ranged weapon attack with plus 12 to hit, a range of 150 base and 300 feet if it's at disadvantage. It hits one target and on hit does an average of 26 piercing damage. The Tricenatorus is a straightforward bruiser with high strength and high constitution and nothing else high, which means it's going to not be subtle about its approach. It wants to get in there and it wants to tangle and it doesn't mind taking several hits to get its food. And it has a crazy fast movement speed along with a way to grapple people, which is a terrifying combo because the Tricenatorus can run in super fast. It's gonna start with a gore attack, knocking the enemy prone and then biting them to pick them up, which has already done massive damage, mind you. And then it's gonna start just running away. And it's like, it's basically a drive-by. It just swings in really fast, coming in like this, grabs someone and just keeps going the same direction. Once it's moving away, if it's being pursued, which it's moving really fast to get away, it's either gonna be moving and biting, trying to chew on the, the captured prey, or it's going to be dashing just to move really, really fast. But anybody that's chasing it, it's going to be using tail spikes. So if there's a bunch of people running after it, it might use its tail spikes instead of its bite attack or its dash. If it finishes off its food, it might turn around and do the same thing, swing back, hit them again, pick someone up, start chewing on them. So this is a dangerous combat in that we target one specific enemy. We set up advantage, so every bite has advantage, and it just does a lot of damage. They're restrained, they're grappled. Hopefully it picked up somebody who can get away, because otherwise there's a good chance that you have a player die if you throw a Tricenatorus at one of them. Something to keep in mind is it's not smart enough to dictate which character it should attack based on mechanics. I would do it in one of two ways. Either I would roll to decide which character it attacked, or I would choose the biggest, meatiest one, because it's hungry. If I'm running this, it's definitely like dinosaur-esque, probably a jungle. Um, I have a feeling that I would really focus on the footsteps. 
that they can hear these footsteps coming towards them long before they get there, giving them a chance to react. But this creature is fast, and I think that's its most deadly application. Is it has a huge strength, huge constitution, but it's super fast. So it can do these really nasty hit and runs. This creature, I feel like, should have a sense of weight and momentum when it hits your party. They should feel like they just got hit by a truck and one of them got taken away by it, and now they have to deal with that situation. I wouldn't have the Tricentaurus fight to the death. It would be a do enough damage that it's not worth its meal anymore and it's going to run away type situation. It probably wouldn't die. It's too big, too strong, too fast to really have it sit there and have this back and forth, I hit you, you hit me type thing. That doesn't feel right for me. But what feels right for you? How would you run the Tricentaurus in one of your games? What setting or application would you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. We are D&D Daily. We release new D&D content every single day. So if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.